Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. So we got some more breaking news. The Redskins are releasing Monte Nicholson, also Kayvon Webster. So if you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. So breaking news, Nicholson was released. Um, I think this was long overdue. This is his last year on, I think, a four-year deal. And the first few years, his salary was, sorry, his salary was a lot less, but now it multiplied to about 2.5 million, something like around that. So cutting him saves a bunch of cap space or a lot more cap space than it would have before. And Nicholson, Monte's done okay as a Redskin, but he has had a lot of off the field problems. And also he really has been very inconsistent had a, sometimes plays okay but then also like seems lost in coverage points the finger at people saying that it's their fault really don't mind this move at all was gonna make a video about players that i think were gonna get cut and he was gonna be one of them so not crazy news but i do think it's important this kind of opens up maybe we'll go after demarius randall and there's other players too but this is Big news, just let me know what you guys think. Also, expect a few signings in the next couple days, whether it be Breland, Logan Ryan, other people. Let's look at Monte Nicholson's stats from last year and the years before. So, last year, started in 13 games, had two interceptions, 23 yards, played okay, uh, two fumble recoveries. But, I mean, if you look at his numbers, allowed 67%. Completion percentage when throwing against him. That's very bad for Monte. Also, a lot of 105% or not 105 quarterback rating against him or pass rating against him, which is also very bad. And he missed, look at this, he missed 14% of his tackles. So that's also really bad too. So didn't have a great year last year and combine that with the off the field problems and combine that with. Ron Rivera being a, having a new coach who's not invested in you. So, yeah, big news. I mean, I hope we sign some other guys. We'll see. Uh, this, I Don't be too mad also, guys, about the Kyle Allen move because we were probably going to end up taking a quarterback in the draft if we didn't do this move, probably in the later rounds, maybe the fifth or seventh round. So this is kind of what we did right there. I don't think it's a bad move. Didn't really want to give up a fifth, but we got a really good backup who can come in and already knows the system. So, yeah, other players I expect to get cut, possibly Troy Apke, but since Monte got cut, I think he's probably safe. Jeremy Sprinkle, maybe Jerron Christian. You got Josh Harvey Clemens. Those are the kind of players that I wouldn't be surprised and most likely probably going to get cut. John Christensen, uh, John Christian might not get cut because he has been, he's only in his third year. So he might, and his salary is a little lower because it's his third year instead of his fourth. So I think he might be still be on the Redskins uh, this season. But big news, I don't think this is going to be the end of it. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. And what I want us to do in free agency. So, oh, these are some other guys that got cut today. Uh, uh, Breon Border, D. Delany, and Cody. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. The only, I didn't, I don't know who D. Delany was at all. The other two uh, I knew, but they only played the last game. But. Yeah, this is a short video, but expect, turn those notifications on because there's going to be more videos later today. And actually, I'll talk about how we can recoup some of our picks. So right now, we have about, we have a first round pick, the number two overall pick, and we also have a third round, 66th overall. And we have, so those are all the players that we released. And then we have two fourth round picks. And a couple, or no, we don't have a fifth now. And then we have, a, this is what it is right here. Redskins now only hold picks in the first, third, fourth, and seventh rounds. Two picks in the fourth and two in the seventh. So, yeah, I think, though, how we're going to recoup these picks, right? So, 
I think it's safe to say at least one of the two, Quentin Dunbar and Trent Williams, are going to get traded. Most likely two of them. So let's say we get a third round pick for Dunbar, maybe a fourth, a fourth. Let's say, let's be conservative. Let's say we get a fourth and a fifth. So then we recoup that fifth round pick and get another fourth, add on to that fourth. And then we probably get, we probably get a second for Trent or a third and a player around that. So we can easily recoup these picks and have a pick in every round. Don't really care about the sixth round pick, but we got to find a way to do it. And I, we do have, it is pretty easy if we trade Dunbar soon and possibly Trent. Dunbar is most likely happening before Trent just because we've been, sh well, we've shopped them for a while, but uh, Trent Williams' contract demands are a little too much. And I think it's going to take a while before we do uh, find a trade partner for him. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this season, uh, the video. If you did, please smash the like button. And, yeah, just let me know what you guys think about uh, us uh, releasing Monte Nicholson and the other uh, five players that we, that we released. Peace.